Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. And when you're a prepper or survivalist, you gotta think out of the box. Especially if you're in a situation where you have to improvise to sustain yourself or to save a life. And, and one of these things is mop heads. I have a buddy that has given me a ton of these and I am giving them away. I'm not selling them. So I've given them to churches, volunteer fire departments, small businesses, because um, he had a lot of them. So, but I had to figure out what to do with them. As you know, the reason he gave them to me is because if we ever need to do a, a medical clinic for our community here, I wanted to be able to clean the floor and, and keep things as clean as possible. So I had a bucket and I bought two mop handles and I got a bunch of these, but then he got, he got more, he gave them to me, so I was like, man, what am I gonna do with this? So let me tell you what I'm doing with it right now and also ask you, what other things can I use these for other than mop heads? All right, this mop head is just a standard commercial mop head. So you probably, if you work in a business, uh, you probably have commercial mop heads to do the cleaning. Uh, and so inside your janitor's closet, hopefully you can get a new one in an emergency and you need cordage or string. I wrote the facts down here, so let me show you. If you take this apart, and it is so easy to take apart, you take a knife, you cut the seam right there, and you can literally peel this thing apart. And what you will have when you're done is you will have a lot of 34 inch strings. You have 153, yes I counted them, 153 strings. That's what they look like. They're 34 inches long. They're cotton. They are very strong. I don't think... Oh, they're very strong. Um, it takes a lot to break them. The purpose what I'm going to use them for is tying up my tomatoes, tying up vines. Uh, but if you were in a survival situation and you needed some cordage, you could definitely... I don't believe you could probably break two of them. Um, if you wound them together, uh, probably impossible. But it's very easy to take them apart. And look what you get. You get almost a, a yarn. So if you ladies out there do any knitting or crocheting, which I don't, uh, you could probably use these in a pinch. Um, so that one single mop head, they're 34 inches long. And as soon as you pull that seam apart, it just falls apart. 153 of them times 34, you have 5,202 inches, which is 433 feet of this stuff. 433 feet. If you separate it even further, and if those things peel apart, you will get four strands out of each one, and that will give you 1,734 feet. Now, I'm not saying go buy mop heads, tear them apart, and, and use them for string. No, I'm saying if you need to improvise. If you're at an office place and you need string, you need cordage in an emergency, or something terrible happens and you know you have to bug out and you don't really have a sufficient bug out bag or get home bag in your car and you need some string, you can't beat getting this. I recommend getting the clean one. Don't get the one that's on the mop that's all dirty. But if they have some clean ones in there, this will give you a lot of cordage. This cordage can be used to make improvised shelters. Uh, it can be used for a lot of things. Uh, sh your shoelace breaks, you can use it for a shoelace. Let your imagination run wild. What else can I use these for? Thanks for watching.